Good morning, and uh, here we are. We're uh, back out in New York for day two, and we're going to head to a traditional diner, first of all. Um, not quite sure where we're going, but uh, Fee's going to work out on the map. And then we're going to go. We're still at the um, Grand Hyatt. We had a bit of a bad experience yesterday, and um, I've just been up to reception to... Um, I went up to make a complaint, to be honest, and um, the lady was really, really quite nice and explained everything. And we found out there's a few perks and bits and pieces with this uh, hotel stuff that we didn't even know about. So um, we'll find out about that, and we'll tell you about that as well. Uh, one of the things, like $15 a day you can spend in their little market they got in there. So we'll go in there later and have a look at that. But it just made, it gave everything a bad taste yesterday when we just arrived. But anyway, we're going to go off now. Um, it's feeling cool at the moment, which is nice. Um, no doubt it's going to heat up again like it did yesterday. Anyway, let's go and get some breakfast. We're Mark and V, and this is our adventures. Well, another thing, uh, we're start, slowly starting to learn things now as we're going round. We were looking at this building yesterday, and um, this is actually the Chrysler building. So I'll try and get a it's always difficult to get everything in, but this is it, the Chrysler building. How amazing is it? Just absolutely immense. Walking past Grand Central, so we're going to go in. This is Grand Central Station. Look at the brass doors, that. Amazing. Look at this place. Isn't it warm? This is like going back in time, isn't it? Yeah, you've got to keep on nudging yourself and remember this is a, a railway station. This isn't a museum. This is a railway station. It's just absolutely brilliant. Must be yeah, well, we're going to got to go into the main part of it because we want to see that ceiling. Apparently, it's their uh, constellations all built in. Well, all built in. There's lots of constellations on the ceiling, and uh, there's a Tiffany clock as well. And um, did we see it was uh, 20 million worth 20 million? I say. Yeah. So. Uh, We've got to see that as well. But let's have a look at this as we walk in. Look at that. And there's a Tiffany clock right in front of us. Look at that ceiling. That is just absolutely stunning. And this is a Tiffany clock. I think I'm going to have to tell you a little later a bit more information. Yeah. But um, that is just stunning. I think it's 20 million it's value then. I'm just going to look around this place. Absolutely unbelievable. This was built in 1913. It's just absolutely amazing. Don't fall for Watch the cab getting on and off your train. Before 
the buildings, the skyscrapers outside were built, the light used to flood in through these windows. Now, if you look very, very carefully, you can still see a sliver of light coming in there. You imagine what it must have been like before the buildings were there. Um, I believe there's a picture online. I'm going to try and see if I can use it. I don't know if it's got a copyright. But if it has got a copyright, what I'll do is I'll put a link down below so you can actually look at it for yourself. Because uh, honestly, just seeing that little sliver of light coming in it makes you realise. Well, I'm just going to show you V's phone. Um, you can see see there the light flooding in, and that would have been up there where you can just see that little sliver now. How amazing! Absolutely fantastic. This is the subway, and as you walk to it, the heat just hits you. It's really unbelievable. It's something you can't sort of understand until you've actually felt it. Now, this is something, if you've never been to New York, and, you know, we're newbies, listen to this. That's a subway train running underneath. It's quite a strange sensation, really. We were walking around yesterday and uh, you could hear the trains and it was sort of like, where are they coming from? It's really strange. And then you suddenly realise, you know, it's all down below you. Now my little sister has been nagging me about one place when we come here. If you go to um, New York, I'll come out a bit. If you go to New York, you've got to go to Bath and Body Works. Well, there you are. Just for you, Anna Marie. We're going to pay a visit to Bath and Body Works. Look at that fire truck. <laughs> that is a mess. And here comes another one. Ladder 21. So we're going to go and have a look at this bathroom. It's not open. Oh no, Anna Marie, it's not open. We'll have a little look through the window for you. Well, sorry, little sister. Um, maybe we'll see that next time. Well, okay, so we're on East 45th and we're walking down and we're looking for a place called the Comfort Diner. Also, every couple of streets, you can hire these city bikes here. And then um, just flash your card, take a bike. That's a fairly good way of getting around the city. The city, city streets are um, busy, but I, I think they're definitely like easily to navigate. One thing I will say that when you're crossing the road, you have to, you know, they've got this like um, white hand, red hand, um, thing going on and um, pay attention to the electric bikes the electric bikes because loads of them they don't seem to abide by the rules so uh, be careful and here we are this is a comfort diner now this hey yeah. does look pretty old this looks pretty amazing um, we found it online it's highly recommended so we're gonna go in and try it. So we'll just scaffold it. Yeah. So uh, we'll go in and try this and we'll let you know. We're gonna go have a traditional American breakfast. Definitely, look at this. Yeah. What do you want to say? Hi. Right. Two please, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Well, I don't know what I want, so I'm maybe little and often today. So V has had, what have you had V? Um, lemon ricotta pancakes with blueberries. And I'm having um, what they call an all-American. Um, it's bacon, eggs, potato, and some bread or toast. So uh, we'll let you know afterwards what it was like. Well, that was a um, really good breakfast stop and I'd highly recommend coming here. $38 that's just cost us. And a um, little tip, if you pay by cash, you get a 3% discount as well, which we didn't realize until we paid. Anyway, um, comfort, di comfort diner, like it. The food was good, um, service was excellent. What more can you want? Um, felt a little bit of like New York nostalgia maybe. You know, prop proper what it should be like. Yeah, hopefully we'll find a few more places like this as well while we're here. Well, that was the comfort diner. Um, great. There you are. That's what it looks like. Unfortunately, there's scaffolding around everywhere at the moment. But um, that is proper. You know, if I open the camera up a bit, so we look through the window. It's all the food in there. That was really good. No, what we're going to do now is we're going to try and see as much as we possibly can. And the way we figure it's going to be the best way we can do it is by using, um, they do hop on, hop off buses. Pretty much a lot of cities do it now, don't they? Um, and we figure we'll probably see more that way than we will try to walk around and do it. So we're now just trying to find out where the bus stops nearest here and then we'll uh, carry on. Well, we're not really sure what's happening now. This is Saturday morning and this is Park Avenue and there seems to be lots and lots of bikes and people running whether they just got a loop that they can do. Uh, it says it r road reopens at one o'clock. So maybe this is a regular thing on a Saturday. So maybe if you wanted to ride a push bike around, just have a bit of fun, you could, you could come and do that. There's loads, far more than there was yesterday. One thing that um, surprises me, and I've noticed when I start walking around and looking at places, yeah. is the amount of churches are about. There are so many churches in and around, and I suppose that's got to be the um, Irish influence, maybe? Right. Yeah. yeah, a lot of Catholic churches. I, I don't know, I don't really know proper history. Because all the Americans are sinners. <laughs> <laughs> so we're now walking into Times Square. You saw it last night, you saw how busy it was. And this is the difference in the data. So New York definitely comes alive after about seven o'clock, really, it seems, doesn't it? Seven o'clock in the evening, it seems to um, change immensely. There's little, little things that really amuse me, and technology sometimes just is amazing. Now, this is a row of fridges and a, just a, a convenience store, you know, a little supermarket. And it's all like digital screens showing the products and advertising stuff as you walk through. Right, we've just come down to Times Square and um, we've decided to get up one of these hop on, hop off buses. And uh, there's lots available, and there's guys down here trying to sell you them. But um, we've been warned about scammers as well. Uh, they could be genuine, it's hard to tell. They're wearing what looks like official t shirts and everything. However, um, we went online, we've decided to book it online anyway. And you get a QR code online. And 
basically it doesn't start until you actually activate it on your first trip. And we've, put, we've taken two days. Um, that gives us um, uptown, downtown. Downtown, downtown too. CN2. Yeah. Uh, free trip out to um, Statue of Liberty. <laughs> and there's several other little things you can use as well. Right. So, um, you know, you're going to see what, what it's like, you know. We got two days, so um, hopefully we'll get to see the most we can in the time we got. Uh, we've done a little bit of research as well, so hopefully we know a few places that we want to see when we're in the different places. So um, this is what it's going to be about, really. Um, from here on in, uh, let's see what a hop on and hop off is like. And apparently it's just over by the Dollar Pizza place, just behind us. But if you look round, um, you can see the chap in front of me with the um, the card and everything, trying to sell to tourists. Um, we really don't know if they're genuine guys or if they are scammers, but um, we've been warned about it. So we'll just have to wait and see what it was. Because if he was genuine, he was willing to go down to $89. But... So with the rap, get a live map. Oh, fantastic. Where everything is and where the bus stops are. So you've downloaded an app? Yes, an app. You have to download the app to get into it. Okay, so we'll put the link in the bottom. Uh, that looks really good though, doesn't it, guys? And they're every 15 minutes. So if, if you're on a limited time, you can literally hop off 10 minutes, quick look around, back on the next bus again. Fantastic. Okay, right, so we're going to start just off Times Square. And you can see the $99 pizza place. Um, and. $99 pizza, it's a big pizza. 99 cent pizza place. Um, right, so we're right opposite um, Yard House and the bus stop is here. And actually, just here. Is that the bus stop there, do you reckon? So it's right outside the gift shop. We've already got tickets, buddy. All right, all right, cheers. And this is the actual stops we see every yeah, time. It's a bus stop right here. Yeah. So that's what we're going to look for every time when we're on. Yes. Yeah. Go. So there we are. That's what you're going to look for when you want to do one of these uh, tour. Right. So we're on the bus. Uh, I seem to remember doing this somewhere else, but not so long ago. I think it was Cyprus, wasn't it? Yeah, we did. It was in Cyprus, but um, hopefully this will be a little bit better than that bus too. So, um, I don't know, what's it take? Maybe maybe 50 people? 80 people? Probably look to our right now, this is the um, Avenues of the Americas. Now what's already amazing is uh, we've been walking past this two days now, last night and today. We didn't even go past here and didn't even see it, so straight away the bus has got to be a, a, a worthy way of like seeing some of the stuff, even if you just want to go back and see it next time. Great to see that um, some things don't change anywhere in the world. You know, kids love wheeling their bikes, especially down the main roads. So we're looking at the New York Public Library there. <laughs> the church we've just gone past, Donald Trump married Ivana Trump. That was his first one.
But as we come along to the left here now, this is Madison Square Park. I think we actually walked past here last night. And this is the Flatiron Building. Originally, it was called the Fuller Building. It's actually 285 foot tall. Avenue, that was uh, Greenwich Village we'd just been through. And just up ahead of us now, we got uh, Washington Arch. We're now in uh, Soho, and there's the largest collection of cast iron uh, buildings in the world here. Look over there. Now, you can see just there that's cast iron on the building. There's 240 cast iron buildings in New York itself. Right, just to keep you updated of where we are, we're now entering into Chinatown. Well, the ticket we bought includes a um, statue of Liberty Cruise, so we've decided we're going to do that next. It's the next stop. Stop 11, I think they said it was, wasn't it? Yeah, stop 11. Um, and it's all included in the tickets. And there's the Brooklyn Bridge. Well, here they are down now on the waterfront, and that is the Brooklyn Bridge. So that would be New Jersey over there? Well, it's Dumbo, isn't it? Yeah, this area between the two bridges
Right, one thing they don't tell you when they say you got a free cruise ticket is just so many people are going to be here. This is the queue. And it is absolutely, yeah, absolutely immense. So, uh, you know, maybe think about paying the extra because the premium price that was down there, there's about 15 people in the queue. That's the boat. Two story. Should you ever do this uh, tour, um, one of my first tips I can give you, which will foul straight away, is if you're going to stand, stand on the right hand side, because that's the side you're going to see the Statue of Liberty without anybody in front of you. Simple tip, we got it wrong. If you look directly in front of us now, you can see Staten Island. And there it is, our first ever close-up view of the Statue of Liberty. What a totally mesmerising sight. It's something you really need to do if you go to New York. Yes, the boat was crowded, and we were on the wrong side, but it didn't matter. It was amazing. And all too soon, it's over and the boat has turned round and you're heading back. But what an amazing sight, all the same. You want to see the Statue of Liberty and you don't want to pay for it. You can take a Staten Island ferry, and uh, that's where the ferry terminal is, just over there. And you can see where the Brooklyn Bridge is. So you can literally come down to the right of the Brooklyn Bridge, if you're in Manhattan, and that's the ferry, and it's free. So you go over to Staten Island, um, you'll need to be on the right hand side to see it clearly, but um, that's free. And as Mate was saying just now, there ain't a lot free in New York City. So um, Statue of Liberty cruise, yeah, we went to Liberty Island and we saw um, Governor's um, Island as well. Um, yeah, it was great, really good thing to do. A um, couple of little tips. Um, when it's coming back in, I would start moving towards the uh, front, at the back of the boat because we found it's taken us nearly 20 minutes just to get off at the end of it. So, um, you know, if you if time's precious like ours is, um, move to the back of the boat towards where you come on and you're not going to really miss much apart from going underneath the Brooklyn Bridge and you can see that from both ends of the boat so that's just my little tip there and uh, next we're going to head off down to the financial district aren't we? Yes. Yeah but I think we're going to get some food as well so we'll get a hop on hop off bus next and then we'll move on down. Well we've um, decided to walk from the last stop because it all started kicking off. There was a lot of people pushing in. So, um, and there it is, that they Just. The bus we were waiting for has just gone past us. Yeah, as I was saying, as it was all kicking off, um, and the bus just didn't seem to turn up. There's loads and loads of people waiting. 
we just decided in the end uh, we're going to uh, walk. So we've um, walked up. We're just going to go underneath what will be the lead up to the Manhattan Bridge. Um, we're on the edge of the um, financial district, I believe this is now. Yeah, it's the World Trade Center. Where's the World Trade Center? Is that one at the back? Is it? Yeah, that's the World Trade Center. I'll just come round here a bit. You can see that. That's the World Trade Center there. So that's where we're heading to next. Well, as we walked um, back up from Brooklyn Bridge towards uh, the World Trade Center, we just stumbled across the Snip Park as well. It's quite lovely, isn't it? That there building there is absolutely amazing. Sort of expect to see Spider-Man sat at the top, didn't you? Oh, actually, is that him? No, it's not. When the sun comes out, though, it is redder, so it really is hot. We've had um, a little bit of rain. It does come down quite heavy, doesn't it? But um, it's drying up. You can see it already drying up. That gives you an idea how warm it is. A bit, a bit muggy at the moment, I suppose. But now we're going to wander on down to the Royal Trade Centre and pay our respects. I've got to say, it's pretty surreal being here. I remember the day, like everybody probably does, when uh, all the crap happened here. And I um, never thought I'd really come to New York, but being here is uh, pretty surreal. It's um, very much a celebration of the place now, isn't it? You know, lovely boy colours, everything's paint really happily. You know, obviously it's a very sad place, but um, I think people have uh, wanted to be something people remember happily, you know. So this, um, don't quite know what it is really, it's a, you know, push bike with lots of animals riding. I don't know what it donates, but um, people come down, queue up to um, get your photo taken on it. 
Luckily, I don't need me photograph taken on it, so I don't need the queue. And it's uh, right beside the Oculus. So you come down into the Oculus and you've got a subway. Well, the Oculus is absolutely massive. There's just so much down here. It's all quite high-end shops as well, to be perfectly honest. Certainly get your credit card out if you're coming down here to spend. Right, so it has to be done. Um, hot dog or chili cheese dog? And I've gone for a chili cheese dog, look at that. That was um, seven dollars. It's hard to know whether you're being, you know, paying tourist price or local price or whatever. Well, but hey, it did say the price on the vans. Yeah, though. actually, it did say the price on the vans, which was quite expensive. Though. Yeah. Anyway, let's see how it goes. It's okay. Why? Yeah, not too bad. So we just had the hot dog, or chili dog, and it's Zuccotti Park, this is. Just up from the World Trade Center. The um, chili dog was average, if I'm honest, on anything special. We'll, you know, say, rush down here and get one. Seven dollars, whether that's um, helpful, I don't know. But um, it was a little tiny bit cold. Earlier on in the day, we did have a hot dog and I forgot to film it, um, and that was really hot and quite taste, you know, really quite tasty. So, you know, it just depends where you go, I suppose, really. But um, hopefully, we're gonna um, get to see Billy's at some stage, and hopefully, that'll be tomorrow because he's off Central Park, where we'll, we know we'll be going tomorrow for a little while. So, um, maybe that's one that'll be the good one. Who knows? It seems like all we're doing is looking up at all the buildings. They're so high. <laughs> lots and lots of history then. Lots of history. My, even a little graveyard. That's an old graveyard, isn't it? Well, here we are, and we're down in the financial district. And we've come down to see the bowl because um, everybody talks about seeing the bowl. And uh, we've heard stories about how busy it is. And there you, there you go, look at that. Absolutely heaving crowds. We don't need to go in, we'll just like slide in to the side here. There we are, this is the bowl. Pretty crazy how everybody's queuing up and fighting for the touch the bowl, but um, I think it brings prosperity and everything, but uh, you know, who knows? But look at it, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy, the amount of people here. Yes, and I know we're here as well, before we come down, but um, there you go. Then we come down just past the bowl. Um, there's another little park, little fountain. Certainly no shortage of parks in New York, is there? Other than that, a little bit tired. This one. Now I've got to show you this. This is um, 
watermelon with chilli on it. And um, it shouldn't taste very good, but it does. Honestly, it tastes really nice. Mm. Really, really good. Sorry about this guy here. Um, I don't exactly know. Oh, by the bowling, by the bowling green tube station. Strange. Chunks could be a little bit smaller though to make them more manageable. Yeah. <laughs> That's quite a strange sensation, but it's not bad. Wait till we go back to Bali, we'll get them on that. I'm just going to put my camper van head back on and we're always looking for like, potential camper vans. Look at that. That would make an immense camper, wouldn't it? That really work. We'll be getting down the Cornish lanes then. Well, so we've um, got back on the hop on hop bar, hop off bus and to be perfectly honest, really, really busy now. For this, uh, struggling to get seats together. Anyway, we're going to go back, back up past World Trade Center, and it will then carry on up past the High Line, and eventually we'll get back to Times Square. We'll think we'll go for a few, few beers. We're going to do the night bus tonight. It all comes in with the ticket as well. Um, see the city in a different way, I suppose, when you're going around with all the lights. You do get a different perspective, even if it isn't quite busy. Well, so we've, um, we're trying to get back to uh, that area over there where we were at last night. It was really chilled, so we're going to head back there for sunset, get a few beers maybe. Um, but it's just trying to find our way back up. This is obviously where um, the New York police uh, leave all their spare cars. Look at that. Oh, it's just amazing, isn't it? You turn a corner and everything changes again. It's so quiet walking up that road with all the police cars. Yeah, proof there are some cool American cars left. Amazing the park right in front of me now, isn't it? There, look at that. That is cool. Lots of impatient drivers, though. Well, we're uh, going to go into this um, very strange building. Well, we're, um, we've just spent uh, the last hour, maybe a little bit longer in a bar. I can't even think what the bar was called. It was called the Hudson um, Bar and Grill. The Hudson Bar and Grill on 9th Avenue. Um, really nice guys. Um, and the Irish chap who was the bar manager, I believe. Um, I'll say that because I'm not really sure. Uh, yeah, top guy, top guy. Anyway, if you go in there, just uh, mention Mark and V, and uh, you get charged double. <laughs> uh, we're um, heading on to the Times Square now. It's starting to sort of um, get a bit darker now, and everything starts lightening up. We're totally get a dollar pizza and then go on the night bus tour. Yeah, dollar pizza, maybe two if we're hungry. 
<laughs> and then on the, the uh, night bus tour. So we're going to go and see, um, just go and see the lights, really. Um, it all takes on a little tiny bit of a different look as, as the night comes in. You know that? Yeah, we're doing a, like a, a two and a half day fast run around New York. So what you're seeing is what you could possibly do in two and a half days. How many steps have we done though, Vinny? Did you say? you 45, 47,000. They are 47,000 steps we've done so far. In, in a day and a half. In a day and a half. And that equates to something like 20... 20 and a half. 20 and a half miles. So uh, that's how much we've done so far. So, um, you know, you're going to be prepared to walk. So um, if you come in here and you've never been before, get a decent pair of trainers. And when you look around, everybody is wearing trainers. Nobody wears shoes here. Yeah, I'm just going to sort of hold the camera forward. You look at everybody's feet. Everybody is wearing trainers. Apart from VS, they was wearing flip flops. Right, we just had a bit of pizza. Uh, two Bros Pizza in Hell's Kitchen. We're in now. Um, I don't even know the street name. Um, I'm trying to find a street name. Um, 9th Avenue still. And um, that is gotta be, honestly, that's gonna be some of the best pizza we've had. I should have shown it to you, but um, I ate it before I even realized about it. But honestly, if you like pizza, I consider myself a bit of a pizza connoisseur and that was probably the best pizza I've had for a long, long, long time. What do you reckon? Very nice. Yeah, very nice pizza. I would say it's probably the best pizza I've had immensely. Um, maybe ask them not to uh, bake it as long as they did though because I think I burnt the roof in my mouth. <laughs> Here where he come down again, second time. This is Times Square again. As you can see, it's um, absolutely crazy when you get down to Times Square. Right, we're down here, down at the, um, top, well, down at Times Square again now. And we're going to do a night tour. This is the bus, well, not this bus, because I think it's been closed. So, um, we're going to queue up. Now, unlike earlier on today, it's a lot more orderly, like they've got a proper queue sorted out. So, um, it looks a lot better, for quite honest. Nobody pushing in front. So um, everybody's quite happy. And if you want to know where it is, it's uh, oh, I'm trying to think of a, a landmark that you'd recognize. But uh, it's not very happy. Right outside the I Love New York gift shop. Right, we're on board and uh, we get a trip across the Brooklyn Bridge as well. So um, Manhattan. Manhattan Bridge, okay. But um, we're getting a trip across the bridge anyway, so it's, it's going to be good.
try to close my eyes, but then I hear you call. Well, that brings us to the end of day two in New York, and we were absolutely shattered. Honestly, we were so tired. We got back to the hotel room and we fell asleep. We were exhausted. Tomorrow, in our next video, we go to Central Park, again on the hop-on, hop-off bus, which seems to be a really good decision. We uh, visit Strawberry Fields and pay homage to John Lennon, and on the way back, we, we come into a procession, and that is quite a sight to be seen as well. And in the evening, we go up the edge and we go for a view across the night sky. It's all another very busy day. Hope you'll join us and we'll see you in the next video. Look after yourselves, guys. Bye.